Hello everyone, this is Vikas. So from uh, today onwards, we'll uh, make a separate series for Pandas and we have already know that Pandas, it's a library which is used to do the some uh, data slicing operations. And moreover, there is one very important thing. If we want to bring the data inside the Jupyter environment, so we need Pandas and it's a library, which is an open source library. Now let's go and we would make uh, uh, series for the pandas so that we can understand each and every operations of pandas now uh, before going through the pandas first we have to understand okay that how to import pandas okay how to import pandas so in Jupyter environment and we have already know that that if we want to perform any operations so Jupyter is it's our uh, ID now the code is here I have given the statement as import pandas in Jupyter notebook environment so it would be more clear to you guys now it's simple if we use this hash shine so this becomes this line would become unexecutable okay now which statement would be used to import the pandas which is it is import pandas and to execute this we have to make sure that our cursor should be inside cursor falling inside this uh, code of chunks okay and we have to type shift and enter okay it's not typing we have to press shift and enter button together once we do that see here it's a star mark it is executing means pandas is imported inside this Jupyter environment once it is done it will show some numeric numbers like one or two or three now you can just assume over here it shows one means this is the first line of code being executed in this Jupyter notebook environment okay now we have to load the data set because if you have to work with any kind of data set so definitely you have uh, data in the uh, form of excel uh, which has uh, different different extensions like dot csv which is comma separated values then uh, we have excel which has extension of dot xlsx and dot xls uh, so there are different different things are there so currently i have one uh, uh, this is excel file which has extension of dot xls x okay and if we are uh, confused in that so why not we can go to that our working directory and this is my data set which is uh, housing okay this is housing underscore excel now you can just check this out uh, if uh, extension okay how to check this ex extension of this housing underscore excel you can just click on the properties and in this properties you can just check this out it has an extension of dot xlsx sometimes we have to refer the name of data set so you can just copy from here also because sometimes that file name or a data set name would be like 1qcr and that doesn't mean anything okay uh, it has a, some directory uh, root folder extensions or directory root folder name and all so you can just quickly go over there and just copy this and then you can just make sure that uh, check the extensions because we have to write the extensions okay and we know that the extension is dot xlsx so i have copied this housing underscore excel okay now again I'll go for this here I'll just write pandas okay it's correct pandas dot read underscore and this is Excel because the extension is dot XL s X okay now I'll just uh, inside this inverted comma I have to give this housing underscore Excel because this is the name of uh, file then xlsx once we execute this again she it shows a star mark means it is loading and once it is loaded means the data set is loaded and i have named this uh, housing underscore excel dot xls dot xlsx as a data set so you can name anything over here you can write data one data two or as per your own convenience okay now there is one thing which I would like to tell you because uh, here I have just shown you import pandas okay now second you can just write it as a import pandas as PD 
okay because sometimes what happen uh, always writing this pandas uh, some calling name if we use and using this calling name if we have uh, only two letters instead of one two three four five and six six letters so which one is convenient for you definitely it would be two letters so the same operation whichever operations we have done over here the same operations we can also do using this so we can just write data set then we can just write pd dot read underscore excel and then inside this double quote okay always make sure that if you are loading any data set so after this parenthesis you have to write the double quote and inside this you have to write the file name so housing underscore excel dot xl sx we have given this and we have executed now again it will do the same operations whatever operations we have done using this pandas dot read underscore excel same operations has been done using this pd dot read underscore Excel. So let's understand why we have used this import pandas as PD because uh, the calling name for pandas has PD. Okay, this is the sort form. Instead of the six letter, we have to use only two letters. So PD is the calling no name. Okay, PD is the calling name. I'm sure you understand this. So next time onwards, we uh, when when we are importing the pandas, we have to make sure that we have to use this PD statement. Okay, now. Uh, this is very important that once we have loaded any data set so we have to make sure that data set is loaded properly or not so we have to just write the data set name uh, in case uh, over here I have used my data set name as a data set only so once I write this and I have execute so I have written this data set okay after executing it will show the complete uh, columns and rows but here you can just check this out if you'll check the dimensions of this data data set which shows 20,640 rows and 10 columns so it's not feasible to uh, show all the rows so it has shown the first five rows and first last five columns sorry uh, I'm sorry it shows the first five rows and last five rows okay and it also shows uh, the columns you can just check this out it shows all the columns here we have one slider available you can just check this out here we have a slider and uh, because uh, we cannot accommodate more than 8 to 10 columns okay so this is the reason we have a slider available you can just check this out now the better way uh, that because it is taking lots of space so same operations could be done using this data set dot head once we give this head it will show the very first five rows from 0 1 2 3 and 4 because Python starts from 0 that's the reason the index is 0 over here explicitly if we mention over here as a 10 it will show the first 10 records or first 10 rows so in terms of data science we called row as a records okay and column as a variables and features also sometimes we are referring so depending on the data scientist they are uh, referring those terms now uh, here we have used this head uh, 10 so it is showing me total 10 and this is the very first 10 rows now if we just remove this so by default it would show only five rows so please make sure that once you are loading any data set make sure that you just check the the first five rows and first five columns so in that case you'd be confident that your data is properly loaded in Jupyter environment or not because sometimes what happen if you have executed this statement and there will be some discrepancy in your data or in while loading that data set forms and when you start building model or uh, doing some operations at that time it will show some error so why not you can uh, uh, preactively use that and correct those errors so that's the reason you have to check the first header okay make sure that we should write check the header and here I'll just write check the tail okay so how to check the tail we can just write it as a data set dot tail 
so in this case it will show me the very last five rows so in this way we can load the data set which has extension of .xlsx or .xls and which has a excel file thank you so much guys and uh, we would make a series of pandas and in that case we can understand each and every activity uh, which pandas uh, is uh, doing and uh, which actually makes ease for our data science operations thank you so much and please do subscribe and please do like uh, the video if you like this video